In 2016, Audio Engine released the HD6, a flagship, full-range powered speaker system. Not only was it beautifully finished, but it also offered tons of options for connectivity. Today we'll be reviewing the HD3s. They're a smaller version of the HD6. The HD3 offers many of the same features and aesthetics as the HD6, but in a more compact form factor designed for desktop listening. The HD3 comes in a choice of three beautiful finishes, a solid veneer walnut or cherry, or satin black. Black grills attach magnetically to the front, but the speaker looks great with or without the grills. The left speaker has the volume knob, which is also used to power the speaker on and off, as well as a headphone output and Bluetooth pairing button. The slot-loaded front firing port means you can place them just about anywhere. Size-wise, they are just slightly larger than Audio Engine's famous A2 Plus speakers, making them ideal for a desktop or small room system. The HD3 is a two-way powered speaker system, meaning the amp is built in. All you need is a source to get the music playing. They have a two and three quarter inch Kevlar woofer and a three quarter inch silk dome tweeter. The HD3 also uses a cast basket which provides great rigidity. This is a step up from the stamp basket feature in the A2 Plus. As mentioned earlier, the HD3 really shines when it comes to connectivity options. On the back panel, you will find stereo RCA inputs, a mini plug input, and a micro USB input. The HD3s also come with a nice gold-plated audio mini cable and a basic USB cable. The HD3 also features a built-in Bluetooth antenna. More on that in a second. If you are looking for some extra bass, you will also find a set of audio outputs that will allow you to connect a sub. A toggle switch on the back of the left speaker will allow you to send all the low bass directly to the connected subwoofer. This will lessen the demand on the HD3s themselves, allowing it to focus on the mids and the highs. As we've come to expect from Audio Engine products, setup was a breeze. In the box, you will find a heavy gauge 2 meter speaker cable which comes pre-terminated with gold plated banana plugs. Use this to connect the left speaker to the right. Should you wish to use your own cable, the connections accept either banana plugs or bare wire, and the quality is far superior to what you will normally find in speakers at this price range. Audio Engine recommends about 40 to 50 hours of break-in time. So while they were playing, we decided to test out the Bluetooth capability. The built-in antenna works great. The HD3 paired easily with every device we tested and was able to remember up to six different Bluetooth devices. Using an iPhone, we were able to stay connected up to about 50 feet away, even through multiple walls. Audio Engine's powered speakers have always impressed us. By building the amp directly into the speakers, they make sure they work perfectly together. We were very pleased at the way the HD3 amplifier powers these speakers. While they will certainly work as a small bookshelf system, these speakers really flourished as desktop speakers. They were clearly designed for near-field listening. They don't overemphasize any frequencies, keeping everything smooth and easy to listen to for hours at a time. For more complex music, we recommend adding the Audio Engine sub and utilizing the bass switch we mentioned earlier. It really opened things up, allowing the upper ranges and vocals to come through crystal clear. The Audio Engine D1 is one of our favorite DACs for the money. Audio Engine took the same components found in the D1 and included them inside the HD3. Not only will music coming from your computer into the USB input sound fantastic, but you can also drive a really nice pair of headphones as well. While we're a fan of the Audio Engine A2 Plus, the improvements and extra features you get with the HD3 make it an obvious choice if it's within your budget. You'll have a hard time finding a better value for your desktop. You could also pair the HD3s with a phono stage and an entry-level turntable for a great sounding compact system. All the products mentioned in this video are available for purchase on audioadvice.com. The links can be found in the description. While you're there, we'd love for you to check out some of our other content, including in-depth reviews, setup guides, thought pieces, and more. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Jeff with Audio Advice. Thanks for watching.